the Octane yeah. 2024.1 Beta 2 is now out. Mm. There's uh, release highlights for this, including various bug fixes. Um, it it uh, has some enhanced render performance for Mac OS, I think, yeah, especially. I, mm-hmm. I, I was getting crashes anytime I would open up you know, cinema in, uh, and have octane as my default. It would just crash every time You're using the beta. So, uh, uh, yeah, well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm never actually on a stable release, <laughs> which is well, probably the worst idea right. ever. Yeah. But yeah, I've been on, I've been on 2024.1. Ooh. I think the first beta for a uh-huh. while, that was the first one that allowed me to multi, you know, render across network and stuff. And now my my Mac is my main machine now. There's also yeah. updates like including, you know, how like there'll be like non-moving scenes with multiple frames, like where where certain aspects yeah, yeah, yeah. of it don't move. Yeah. You know, it's fixed a lot of that for Mac OS. Um, additional UV sets and bump mapping. A bunch mm. of new blend mo- modes for AOV layers, like crazy amounts of blend modes. Um, I think there are some animated VDB fixes for, I think, specifically Mac. Um, but mm. what I think, though, because I use the stable version, uh, is yeah. <laughs> that uh, 2023 has been incredibly stable for me. I've been using the latest version of 20, well, almost latest version of 2023, and I feel like uh, 2022 or maybe the very first version of 2023 was giving me a lot of crashes in combination with uh, mm-hmm. with um, um, Cinema 4D. I don't think it was uh, like 100% Octane. It was a combination of things, right? Yeah. And I really feel like it's been stable. I, I actually had a crash the other day and I was like, wow, that's rare. Like I actually yeah. haven't crashed in a while. So um, when when you get a crash and it's a surprise to you, that's always a good sign. Um, yeah. And actually, I'm going to be releasing some shots of a project that I just finished for uh, Zephyr Gin. Um, maybe not this week, but next week once I have some time, there's a commercial and some social media stuff that's going out. Uh, and my goal was to do everything in camera. Uh, I think I did Everything in camera except I had some fumes coming off a of fire and I used a little bit of red mm-hmm. giant on everything else. Nice in camera, you know. That's cool. Um, <laughs> Sean, <laughs> Sean Astrum, AI sucks. Love you guys. Yeah. Get it used can. to it though. Get used to it though. Yeah. It's it's you got to figure out how to work it into your into your. I wish routine, I wish workload, they would. You know? I wish they would get rid of the AI thing. The moniker. I, wish, I know they got to. Yeah, they got to rebrand it. You know, how about just calling it upgrades in technology? I'm telling you, <laughs> it'll be less scary. The thing people are upset about is the art part. I do understand that. But if we just take that out of it for a minute and pretend that doesn't exist, it's just upgrades. 